Oh, look at that. He jumped off the wall to take the back of Shinya. My dream is to become the double champ for one championships, jiu-jitsu and MMA. I got a big unchecked box right here on my bucket list, and that's for an MMA fight. And not just a fight, but to have the title. On the brink of competing in two sports, both Cade and Tyru Tolo will fight on the same card for a chance to solidify their status as the most dominant duo in submission grappling at one fight night 21 on April 5th. Ty is gearing up to defend his belt against dangerous Australian challenger Isaac Michel, while Cade is set to face Brazilian rising star Francisco Lowe in a high-stakes catchweight clash. I'm more of the hunted rather than the hunter. I don't think you know, there's anyone around my size that can beat me, and uh, I think I can beat guys way bigger than me too. Ahead of their highly anticipated returns on April 5th, dive into the remarkable journeys of the twin sensations in one championship. In early 2022, one championship made waves in the martial arts world by signing the buzzworthy Rutolo brothers. The red-hot grappling stars would make their respective debuts at 1-157 in May of that year. Cade was up first, facing a tough test in the legendary Shinya Aoki. Would he back up the hype against a true icon of the sport? Ankle pick, nice to a body lock, beautiful back take. Cade's being very aggressive here in the early minutes. Oh, look at that. He jumped off the wall to take the back of Shinya. Cade would prove sensational, dominating Aoki with his vicious pace and unorthodox technique to earn an emphatic unanimous decision victory. Cade Rutolo! Shortly after, Ty, who just cornered his brother, faced a tremendous test of his own in BJJ superstar Gary the Lion Killer Tonin. The team prodigy would go on to pull off the unthinkable, submitting Tonin with his signature Darce choke in just 97 seconds. How about that? Ty Rotolo submits Gary Tonin! Afterward, Ty went home with something more than just a sensational debut victory. That man right over there, Chachri Sidyotong, has just given you a $50,000 bonus! It's the 50,000 debut fight got the sub. I'm so stoked right now. The Rotolo brothers have arrived. Both of them are winners tonight. Outside of one, Cade next earned his place in the record books by becoming the youngest ADCC world champion in history. With that ADCC gold around his neck, the young superstar looked to capture the inaugural one lightweight submission grappling world championship at one fight night three in October 2022. That evening, he took on Wally Kershev in an intriguing clash of styles, BJJ versus Sambo. But there's been a bit of talk of a new profound rivalry between Sambo and Shih Tzu. At Shih Tzu, we have a couple more attacks, a couple more options, maybe a couple more submissions. But I think that's going to be the difference here. Another opportunity for, for me to make history in the sport. I think Cade is going to dar some, get on his head, or maybe a heel hook as well. Nice little sweep right there. They start immediately hand fighting and looking for their grips. As predicted by his brother, Cade needed just over four minutes to secure a heel hook and forced four time Sambo world champion Uwali Kurzchev to tap out. Well, he's doing a good job of fighting the hands. First thing he has to do is fight those hands, but he's got to stand it. There it is. He taps. It's over. Earning the inaugural gold and a $50,000 bonus for his electric performance. The newly crowned one world champion then called out future opponents. I want to go ahead and defend my title ASAP. Tynan Dalbra and Tommy Lankaker. I would love those matches for sure. Can't wait to see you guys back. A champ isn't a champ until they make that first title defense. Matthias Gabriel is going to be challenging Cade Rutella for Cade's one championship belt. Just a few short months later, Cade Rutolo was back to defend his belt at one fight night five in Manila. This time, he was joined by Ty Rutolo, who squared off against longtime MMA star Marat the Cobra Gafarov in a catchweight submission grappling battle. Ty Rutolo is so dangerous. Could this be the finish? There's the tap. Fight's over. It was a successful night for both brothers, as Ty secured a submission victory over Gafarov, while Cade successfully defended his belt against Brazilian veteran Mateus Gabriel. Cade Rotolo, no surprise. He defends his world title. Fresh off his own victory over Wally Kershev, Norwegian BJJ superstar Tommy Langaker had some choice words for the reigning one lightweight submission grappling world champion. Cade, I want you. I want to make you like Sideshow Bob next time. I got a lot of hungry people coming after me. For Tommy, you know, at the ADCC after party, we had some words exchanged. I'm really looking forward to that one. After a feud that had been brewing since 2022, the two elite BJJ black belts squared off with 26 pounds of gold on the line at one fight night 11 in June 2023. 
Both men put on a beautiful display of technique, showcasing true world-class ground skills. A straight ankle lock, trying to lock it out. Ah, oh, Tommy Longacher struggles. Ultimately, it was the 20-year-old Phenom who found more successful offense overall and retained his strap. I'm really looking towards the MMA, to be honest with you. You know, MMA, it's really in my heart. I've been training it. I want to make sure I have all the tools so that, you know, when I do step on those mats in the MMA rule set, I'm going to go straight to the top. As Cade leaned into his MMA preparations, Ty Rutolo stepped in as a late addition at 1 Fight Night 13 to face Turkish juggernaut Dagi Arslan Aliyev, living up to the same anyone, anytime, anywhere. It's been pretty tough for my brother and I to stay busy. We've had a lot of opponents pull out. This guy, uh, Doggy, who's the one to commit. There's not a lot of guys that want to fight with me anyways. It didn't take long for the American prodigy to submit the bigger lightweight MMA contender in their catchweight bout. He did so by making Arslan Aliyev tap out not once, but twice in less than 15 seconds. I caught him with the outside heel and I felt the top on my back, but it was kind of, you know, a little iffy. I just kept going. I was stoked to get a two subs, one match. With his spectacular rear naked choke finish, Ty Rutolo received major news. I think I just heard in my earpiece that you just got a title shot at 185 pounds in submission grappling. Undefeated across four submission grappling matches in one, Ty Rutolo was booked to face Russian ace Magomed Abdul Kadyrov for the inaugural One Welterweight Submission Grappling World Championship at One Fight Night 16. The Californian knew he had a tough assignment in Abdul Kadyrov to keep his winning streak alive. This is a huge opportunity for me. I've been trying to get the belt ever since I saw my brother get it. I'm expecting a tough opponent no matter what. I'm excited to perform against a game opponent like Magomed. This man is one of the most exciting grapplers on the planet. Ty Rutolo is a very aggressive hunter. Ty did just that. After 10 minutes of fast-paced action, the Atos representative was awarded the unanimous decision victory and captured the inaugural gold. He joined his twin brother, Cade Rutolo, as a one submission grappling world champion. They were the second pair of siblings to win one world titles after Angela and Christian Lee. In January 2024, Cade Rutolo was set to defend his gold in a rematch with Norwegian star Tommy Langaker in Tokyo, Japan at 1-165. The first scrap had been a close contest, but Cade left no stone unturned in the second encounter as he dominated his rival from bell to bell en route to a unanimous decision world title win. He just kept the attacks coming, just constant movement, vicious attacks, looking for the finish at every single opportunity. Cade Rutolo! With a target on his back, world champion Ty Rutolo fearlessly called out potential opponents eager to defend his title against all challengers. I know Isaac Mitchell, Pedro Mourinho are both good matches. I feel like I'm the best in the world at 185, and whoever feels like they can challenge me, come get it. Ty's callouts were successful, as one of the names he mentioned was booked to face him at one fight night 21. The Rutolo brothers will once again compete on the same card, as Cade will take on Francisco Lowe in a 180-pound catchweight bout, while Ty defends his coveted world title belt against Isaac Michel. Will the twins emerge victorious in their respective battles, further solidifying their dominance in one? Find out at 1 Fight Night 21 on April 5th.